YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. Ah uh, yes, my boys, we are back yet again with another Duel Links video. And today we're gonna be getting in there with your girl Taya yet again for a Cyberstein video. Now I know this deck is supposed to be dead and we have been celebrating its trip to the graveyard but as you know, the great story of Frankenstein, this beast will never die. And apparently this card can be used in many different ways and many different scenarios to still cause all kinds of turmoil in the ranked PVP. So my boys, if you want to watch even more dank content on this channel, I'm gonna need you to crush that like button and subscribe for more Duel Links content whenever it is uploaded partial update i want to let you guys know that i'm gonna be doing live streams of Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links and legacy of the duelists on a schedule um, i'm gonna have an update pretty soon but it's gonna be pretty much monday through friday at a specific time legacy of the duel links will be streamed on twitch.tv and also Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links will be streamed here on youtube of course i'm gonna have videos of each on this channel as well but I'm going to be starting to use my Twitch more often. And I'm starting off on Twitch with Legacy of the Duelist. So come over there to Twitch so that I don't have a lonely, sad stream where the only follower and only viewer is myself watching my own feed. Now, let's jump right to the video. All right, my boys, we're getting back in there with the Frankenberry. And I know that you guys love and loathe this deck definitely for one reason one reason only ojama king pretty much puts you out of the game and there is no fighting back the unfortunate thing about this deck is with these combos you can still accomplish the same move and pretty much how i set up this deck is that if you end up with any style of monster that can help you get to cyberstein also with its assist spell card you can pretty much use any two life point gain cards and win the game so just going into the deck, it's a pretty easy deck. This is one of those decks that's like, you know, you're either in or you're out, you win or you don't. But people don't play this deck for KOG. People play this deck to be a menace to you and me. I'm sorry about that one. Don't call the police on me again. Now listen, <laughs> what we're doing right now is getting in there with this spicy deck, my boy. And the main combo pretty much is to use your Gen X controller and also uh, your downbeat to go into Cyberstein or to use your unknown Synchron and your Transmodify to go into Cyberstein. So at that point, you know, pretty much you have game regardless of how you go into it. Now, there is a few different ways you can run this deck by running multiple unexpected dies and also running multiple um, dark world cards if you want to make it a little faster but i don't really like that and i kind of like it that is very 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 free to play friendly using only one unexpected die but your fusion deck is your fusion deck my boys you're gonna need that calvary you're gonna need that ojama king and then you're gonna need uh this ridiculous ultimate battle machine with cyber end dragon you guys already know cyber stein is win condition and that's pretty much it so enjoy the rest of the video my boys and as always keep it dank <laughs> fool did you think it was over did you think just because the mid credit rolled did you think because the bumper ran that your boy was done with you today no i'm right here and we're gonna get in there with some commentary no duel because this deck does not deserve any song. This deck does not deserve any type of celebration. No, this deck only deserves to show you just the raw power within just one video, my boy. So listen, we're gonna use downbeat with unexpected die in the Cyberstein. It's turn one, so you already know what's up. Take a little damage, gain a little life. Gain a little life, that's nice. Cyberstein, for the king. King, well, life cost zero. Cyberstein, for the Calvary. Shushuyo. 
easy money. Now earlier when I was testing this deck out, I did use an additional spell card to do do, but it was of the wallet, so I had to remove it. And I decided to replace it. I believe with an additional life point card or as another copy of the uh, Gen X controller or something, but I don't remember. But I was using two of the void to enter the voids. And if you don't know what this card does, you know, it's really simple. You activate it and you draw a card. But the thing about it is, it's not 100% necessary if you just run a life point card in its place, which is why I took it out. But in this version, I had it in, because if I had the life point card there, I just would have gained the life points and went in there for game. Now against this man, he has a back row and an ancient gear beast. Now, in order for me to win this duel, I'm got to be weary of the back row. So I brought in my cavalry, and my prediction was correct. He tried to target with his concentrating current. Cavalry negates. Clappy, clappy, attacky, tacky. That's called easy money. Now, again, as I sold this chaos on the rank ladder, I, I it, it is not my fault. Okay, it's not my fault. Konami has chosen to tie my hands and challenged me to make a deck that can work with just one Cyberstein. In order for them to kill this deck completely, they're gonna have to kill every skill and Stein completely. Stein's gonna have to be banned because there's always gonna be a way to summon Stein. Like this time, I got lucky and opened with it on my first turn. Guess I'll gain some life points and summon the ultimate. Life costs zero. Here comes your boy, Big King. Big King's gonna brick that board. Smacky, smacky, attacky, tacky. Nani. Now he thought he was gonna get away with passing his turn and using Kite Roy. Well, he didn't expect the King. Clapped. Now listen, I know that might've been unfair. Zane Truesdale does not deserve that kind of disrespect. But guess what? Another Zane Truesdale's on the way. Can this Zane Truesdale reclaim the revenge in which he seeks? Well, I'm relying on that coin toss. <laughs> and my faith has been rewarded with unexpected die and Gen X controller. It's time to downbeat into Cyberstein. I'll pay the price and gain those life points. Then I'll pay the ultimate and summon the king. There's the king, brick, brick, brick. My cost of life is Zito. Special summon is Calvary. And guess what? I'll have to end my turn. That's all I can do. Well, well what, what are you gonna do? What, what, what are you gonna do? All right, my boys, this is gonna be the last clap I got for y'all. The final clap of this video. And listen, if you didn't already hit that like button and subscribe to this channel, what you waiting for? I, I, don't, don't break my heart, man. Click that like button and subscribe for more Dank Duelist content all the time. Merrick in the Shadow Game is about to receive some pain because he's going first with no back row. This man's gonna get clapped. Some on. Downbeat though. Cyber Steino. Life a point to gain. Life a point to pain. Set it, set it face down. A little arrogance for you. Summons the Cyber End Dragon. My life costs zero. And summon the Calvary. What's this man going? Nani? Wum wum. Uh, impossible. And with this shadow game, ooh, what is he playing? Bruh. I guess it's true what they say. Trash must defeat trash. A little bit of everything. <laughs>
trash must defeat trash that's that's all i can leave you with my boy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and as always keep it dang